Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based research channel uh, basically showing you uh, how you can research these images yourself. Okay, right. Apologies for not uploading anything for so very long. I think it's probably around about three months or something now. So um, if you're new to this sort of thing, you might find this image a little bit difficult to uh, get your head around. It's uh, very complicated, uh, very busy. Um, but this is uh, sort of the end result of the um, the, the, the type of uh, in enhancements that I do. And um, we will be looking at an area of Venus. Um, we have looked at Venus before um, and it is quite outstanding. I think the last one we did was a, a half of a picture that was uh, 250,000 square kilometres and basically it looked like it was uh, had buildings and structures and various things all over it. So you can look back at those things. Um, and in relation to the tutorials and stuff, look at the early videos. Um, there's a lot of uh, um, enhancement um, that you can see in action um, and I do recommend um, looking at those because um, <clears throat> it helps you understand what I'm finding and stuff like that so um, you know and bear in mind you're not supposed to be seeing this stuff so uh, let's go okay it's the Magellan mission to Mars and these used um, they were uh, radio, uh, imaging radio, radar, there we go, yeah, so the detail, the, the images do look different, but the detail we get is um, uh, quite incredible. So I had, uh, this is an old image, um, which I've had for a number of years, and uh, I was having problems locating it. This is, this is the actual image. Um, and these are called arachnoids um, of unknown origin. So the best I could do locating was uh, the Wikipedia. Here's the image. Um, there we go. You can download and stuff. Um, we go here, but it, 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 there's a few details and stuff about it. And... Um, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Like I say, uh, excuse my rustiness. We go here. We can have a look at. There's some stuff. Um, so there's all sorts of uh, information and, and things out there. <clears throat> so like I said, um, these images. Uh, th this is how it comes in. So we can see it pixelating here. Um, and obviously, part of the enhancement process is to you know, make the image larger so we don't get any pixelation and stuff. But immediately, looking at this, um, there is some stuff going on, um, which didn't let's look suspect shall we say okay so let's go to the full enhanced image and I must say uh, the reason I say that these get very complicated because of the nature of the enhancement I do um, brings all the hidden details to the surface and basically flattens the image out <clears throat> and it gets to a point where it gets so complicated it's it's hard to see what's going on I mean the, these it's so dense incredible so I've got a black and white version of this where I'm gonna show you some enhancement um, just to try and um, start focusing your eyes and as always when I enlarge this stuff please um, pause it and just take it in you know it will take your eyes a while to get used to the to the image but in slowly you will start seeing the um, 
the structures which I'm hopefully going to show you. Um, okay, right, so if we, I think it's simple enough that, okay, if we start this here, now this is really homage and I can't work out if I, how much work I've done on this, but we just have a closer look. <clears throat> And you can start seeing some of the unusual um, features um, that are hidden in, in, in this image. Um, which are completely uh, different to anything that they, uh, they describe. So if I just show you a little bit of the, the enhancement, this is basically for people who are, are new to the channel and uh, are unaware. How the tools work and stuff is all explained. Um, there's nothing being laid down. It's purely um, making the certain tones of the image uh, lighter or darker, basically. And the more you work on it, it's like a push-pull type sort of um, process um, and it will slowly bring out the hidden formations in the image. Now, I've said this before, I think I was a little bit hesitant of showing this one because like, you know sometimes I feel like I'm uh, wasting my time you know no one's going to see this or no one's going to be bothered to take the time to to actually uh, study the image long enough to uh, understand what's going on it, but hey ho, we'll just carry on. So I'm going to be doing some bigger ones, and hopefully these will work on people's phones as well. Um, it's just that I use a big screen, and it's it's quite difficult to gauge, you know, how people are going to. Or what they're going to be viewing, going to be viewing on. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what is uh, hidden in this image, and we are seeing the characteristic sort of uh, platform connected type sort of thing. But uh, Venus is a little bit different to uh, all the other places we've looked at and there there is a large um, similarities between the various moons uh, and planets uh, meaning you know, the style of construction um, So you can slowly see how these features are pulled out of the image, basically. Okay, so we're going to go. We're going to go to the uh, this image now, and uh, like I say, pause and uh, take the image in and hopefully I'll be able to show you some stuff and like I say this is this is a very um, difficult one and especially if you're new to this you're probably going to have problems viewing what I'm going to be showing you so uh, this is the thing it's uh, where to start I mean just pause and uh, try and take the image in. Um, it's probably better. Let's tell you what, if I do. If I do this. So you can concentrate on this part of the image, might make it a little bit easier for you. Um, but like always, I mean, we have the angle of ascension 
um, I think it's called the angle of ascension. It's purely, it's just they have a, a um, equator line and it's the angle of the equator line um, which gives you um, the perspective we're looking at. Um, even though this isn't a camera, it's a radar. And apparently they, um, they dropped a <clears throat> unit which the radar would use onto the surface. I think, I think it's explained in the other um, Venus one that I did. So, um, yeah, these are imaging radar um, picks, or however you however you call it. But if you look here, uh, we can see these classic sort of elevated structures with supports underneath. If I'm losing you already, please go and look at some of the other videos. Um, it will make a lot of sense. Well, more sense, shall we say. But like I say, you know, you have to take your time looking at this stuff. And it's a point of, you know, just finding something which uh, you can understand and then just relaying it to the rest of the image. Um, it does take a while to... Uh, um, how do I get rid of that then? Don't know. If I just go like that. And uh, go like that. There you go. You see how rusty I am. So anyway. Let me just move through here. And apparently all these lines and stuff are described as, or possibly described as, um, cracks in the surface where the lava flow has come through and obviously solidified and stuff. But you can clearly see here that it has, it is connected, um, to other pieces. There are support like, um, to what supports like underneath the uh, the structures themselves it's not too visible but it's when when you get your perspective in in line then uh, these things become much more um, pronounced Now, one thing that um, we do see everywhere um, with these, uh, we presume, are elevated platforms, tunnels, um, pipes, whatever they could be. Um, every now and again, there's a well, there's a platform now, a circular, square, oval, diamond shaped. Um, I think we get triangular ones. I think there's a triangular one there. There you go, I've lost it again. Not to worry. You're probably thinking, oh, I can't see anything. This is um, and this is half the problem that I have uh, because it because it's so dense. There's nothing that immediately jumps out at you and says, well, that looks manufactured, constructed of sorts. 
if you look at this area here, this is the platform area, and we're talking about these shapes that have domes or towers on. There's another one here. <coughs> you see the shadow coming off it, and that would be the top. You move along, there's another one here, there's another one here, and here. It's strange how they uh, <clears throat> describe these formations because um, well, they, <laughs> they say it's of unknown origin. Theories on what it is, uh, unknown origin, well, Venus might be the origin of it. That's a silly thing to say, but not really. This is that central area. <clears throat> so if we follow, you can see me over here. We follow this down. It opens up here. There's a structure sticking out. You follow it through. You can see this triangled area. Yeah, there's a platform which looks like it's got a spire of some description sticking out. Thank you. 
Okay, let's so, um, Tried to highlight this one a little bit more so you can see it a bit better. Let's just quickly go back to this one. It's also a point in these pictures, uh, which I've also been finding is something that I was going to show you before this, but it's just turned into something crazy. Uh, it is of the moon, and I think it's going to be it's so blatant, I hardly have to do any work to it to bring it out. And the closer you get, the more of these small details you can start seeing. Um, and hopefully that one will be out in in a few days um, yeah it's incredible and I found it by accident I was looking for something else so let's just have a look here while I'm doing this you should be able to understand the image better because you can see it developing.
you see the two towers on the top. And these like connected. Travelways, tubes, I don't know. I don't know what they are. And you can start seeing the layout. It's a bit quite some linear stuff going on in here. Okay, let's quickly go back here. difficult I haven't looked at this for a while um, so pinpointing stuff uh, is quite difficult uh, so that's the reason why you pause and just take this in try and work out um, what is going on So I mean, in this picture, like right, these so-called uh, lava lines of sorts, you can clearly see that they're uh, they are elevated. Well, it does. It looks that way in the um, in the uh, the image. 
and how they're connected and how there are structures in between them, on them. I mean, this stuff could be built, you know, in and around it. Um, Cause we don't know, simply don't know. <laughs> So like I say, this is a difficult one, and where's that thing gone? I just saw something. Oh, there, there it is. It's here. See that square. Now, if you're unsure about this one or you haven't got a clue what I'm looking at and stuff and things, like I say, go and have a look at the other videos. It'll make more sense. Um, and please uh, let me know what you think of this. If you want to see any more, if you want to make, uh, if you want to look at certain areas of the image, um, then just leave a comment. Please like, guys. I don't know if it helps. Um, but let's do it. And like I could say, I'm going to do the moon one next. Um, and you're not going to believe that. In fact, this is it. This is it here. And that's all I'm showing you. Okay, right guys. Um, sorry if it was a bit rusty, or if you couldn't get your head around it. Um, apologies. Um, tell me what you would like uh, to see in relation to seeing that one. I know it's a difficult one, um, very dense, very busy, but uh, just let us know. And I will see you soon. Eh? It's good to be back and I hope you're all okay. And um, I will see you soon.